Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Diana and I am delighted to share with you my latest painting, Oblivion. So when it comes to painting, I usually start by sketching a smaller scale of the actual painting that I later on transfer onto the canvas. I never went to art school, but as a little kid, painting always made me feel happy and special. Growing up, this passion continued to grow bigger. I did not watch many tutorials, I never liked following any rules when it's about painting and drawing. I just do whatever feels right and fits in the moment as I spill my emotions through my brush onto my canvas. I'm using oil paint. The colors that were used are cadmium light red, crimson, yellow ochre, ultramarine blue, black, and white. I will make another video explaining why I like oil colors and why I've been using them lately. I will also talk about my experience with acrylics, watercolors, and other different mediums. I can also show you guys the whole process of some previous paintings of mine where the improvement shows through time. If you guys are interested or have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Now for the painting inspiration and why I chose to do this painting specifically and what's the idea behind it. Each person has their own way of spelling their emotions and feelings. You know how some people write down their feelings on paper and burn it or get rid of it later? I use paint instead to express myself and deliver my messages. The post-graduation phase is something I would like to talk about. A lot of people underestimate the pressure you face from society or even yourself. But fear not, I understand we can't always choose our circumstances or the past we've planned in our heads for so many years. Life is not a fairy tale and things don't always work out without effort or by mere luck. You can always start with smaller projects that usually need less time and never fail to make you feel achieving. But eventually, it will all work out. You need to have some patience and believe in yourself. Even if you started off with a job that you don't really like, keep in mind that it's all part of the normal career building process. You can always take the positive parts and benefit from every job you have ever done. Personally, I've always been a busy multitasking kind of person. I always like to have everything organized and under control by following specific patterns and schedules. I was personally so lost after I moved to a new country after my graduation and didn't have the same student lifestyle which I got so used to following universities, projects, participating in events, exhibitions and different competitions.
I chose this topic for a specific reason. It affects a lot of us and the ones around us, which is why I think it's very important to shed light on this and help those who go through it. This period can really affect one's self-esteem and make them feel like they're not good enough or they're not doing enough, and even forget who they really are and what makes them unique. And this is why I chose Oblivion as the title. final step which is adding varnish to the painting this is one of my most favorite steps in the painting process i always like using varnish after using acrylic or oil paint as it protects it from any dust and evens out the final result giving it a single tone which is either matte or glossy Hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did subscribe for more, leave a comment if you have any suggestions and click on the box above to see a speed painting video with a Harry Potter theme. See you guys next time, thanks for watching!